Okay, so here we are. We're about to open this giant bean bag, the Sumo Lounge Sultan, just like in Aladdin. Yes. So uh, here we go. Now we're going to be very careful and not uh, not cut ourselves. Don't say that. So they have been trying to contact us since last fall, and I kind of ignored them until it was finally like, okay, we'll try your bean bag chair. So now we're. Going to well, let's get, get on with yes. it. Let's let's uh, be very careful. Extreme care. I don't like seeing you with a big knife. I actually, this is a bad idea already. I actually cut myself in art class really bad. Very school. bad idea. Here, all right. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna pause, and I'm going to uh, cut open the box. So we'll be right back. Okay. So we've safely cut open the box, and let's see what we yes. have inside here. All right. Sumo assembly instructions. So the foam is already inside. So it gives you all the information. Unzip the bag, holding the foam to release the foam, build inner fabric liner. We've already looked at YouTube videos to get an idea of what we're in for here because I've never had a bean ba bag chair like this. I love a bean bag chair. <laughs> I can't wait for this. I'm right. looking ne forward to it too. Never mind. We shouldn't even, we, we, you know, no instruction. Just open the thing. Okay, but there we without go. the instructions, I have no we idea will, We I'm will doing. refer back to that. So here we go. Check this out. Fluff up time. Your beanbag chair can take two to four days uh, after shipment. So, um, okay, so we'll know that. And so then... I suggest you just turn the box upside down. That would be the way to get this oh, thing out heavy. of it. That is one. There we go. Look at that. This is very that heavy. That is easy. No, it's. And I know how heavy it is because I carried the thing over here. This is the liner. Is that the liner? Oh, that's a nice color. Yes, it's, I believe it is. I think that's supposed to be uh, machine washable as well. Okay, so let's see. So now the next thing is we have to unzip this thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know it's not totally easy. Actually, it wasn't too bad yet. Wow. I hear the expanding sounds of this thing. It's like a brain. Look at this. Doesn't it look like a brain? It kind of does. Okay. So, so does this have to go in that yet, or do we do we fluff it first? I think. Well, it has the wrapper on it. I'm, I have to look at the instructions. Okay. Okay. This is very. I want to say pretty heavy there. I've never had a it bean. It is much heavier than it looks. Yes, I've never had a bean bag chair like this before. When I was a kid, I used to have small ones, um, but this is way, way different, heavier. I'm not sure what to do now. So continue. You're doing good. Is this what I, I should I do? I think that you, yes, you just kind of. Just kind of. Uh, move it around a little bit. You're trying to separate it. I think, it, you know, it does say it'll take, we're going to have to come back in a few days when this. Uh, well, probably tomorrow because. You can feel it inside, but... It's already seeming to be uh, expanding. I it's mean, probably, like if you can see this, it's like that right now. So I guess at some point it will expand, and I probably have to do something to help expand it. I don't know what. <laughs> Perhaps that is the... the uh, it's already... Well, all that stuff is already in this bag, right? It's already in the, the, the beaming, bean stuff is already in it. So, it's already inside, and now I have to massage it or something. Okay, so I am taking over here because it is very hard to get these chunks out, but we are doing it. See, they're, they're little chunks. You can sort of see the, that's a chunk inside. So I'm kind of pulling them apart. And the more I do it, the easier it gets. I didn't really know quite what to do at first. So, yeah. I mean, it says to rip apart the chunks, and I wasn't sure where they were, but now as you're doing it. I think you're not supposed, you don't have to do all of them. It looks like you just have to do some of them. Right, because once you start doing them, they become easier to do. Honestly, it's good to, to start by watching YouTube videos on this first, and so I already had looked at it. I own two, two or three of them. Okay, so now you're gonna try it. How is yeah. it, how is it seen? It's actually pretty easy now. It says you don't need to do it all, you know, you just, it's really just a kind of, get it started and, and because I, I can't see what is going on under here, I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> well, what does it feel like? It, it kind of like... It just 
feels like, um, not, I don't know, what, like what? Like just some kind of a foam. Like here. you're pulling apart a big foam mattress almost. I don't and know it's about getting the there, there are little pieces are getting you know smaller pieces as you do it, and you could see that thing is getting much bigger already. And when we first opened it, it was like a square rock. Well, I don't really understand. Like it said, you don't have to pull apart all of them, so I don't know if at this point it's going to sort of pull apart itself until it expands. I I don't really understand. Well, the I'll concept come in. Of how I'll come in and that chair works underneath here. Look at that. That's a big chunk. It's you know once you get it started, it's actually really easy to break them apart. So we have more progress. You can see there's just the one little square left that uh, that we're breaking up here. Well, even though it said you don't need to do all this, um, Jeff wanted the, I think he wants it tonight as far as the... Uh, no, I know, I don't think it'll be, <laughs> it'll be not fully set. I think we do need to give it a day to fully breathe and get open. But look at, I mean, it's really resembling a beanbag chair already. So, okay, well, we may be back tonight. We may be back tomorrow. This is what uh, we're looking at so far. And, and then uh, by tomorrow, we'll be all done. We'll be sitting in a big chair very soon. Okay, so it's been 24 hours, and as you can see, our uh, beanbag chair has gotten a little bit bigger here. All the inside stuff has expanded. It looks uh, looks really good. We've we've kind of been sitting on it. We couldn't resist sitting on it a little, and it's uh, very comfortable. So now we're going to put on here is uh, Denise here, and she has the outer the outer shell, which will match our existing furniture. Nice brown coloring there. So. Uh, so let's see what happens here. I may have to put this down and help yeah, her. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> but I think it's it looks fairly easy. We're just going to uh, unzip this thing and then put the beanbag liner now. inside the uh, outer liner. So anyway, we'll be... We have two people. That's right. So we'll be right back. Jeff was worried it wasn't going to be easy. But it is easy. <laughs> it's that part. Easy. It's easy for him, but it's not for me. Well, the hardest part's going to be to find the end of this. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay, so... We just zip this thing up, right? That was pretty easy. I don't think I could have done it. I couldn't even find the zipper. This is incredibly easy. So now you are in the bean bag. What do you think so far? It's comfortable. <laughs> are you ready to have a nap? Pretty much. <laughs> so the moral of the story is, I think we'll be having little little naps in this thing while we're watching TV. Well, you can't watch TV if you're having a little nap. So. That's true, that's true. No, it's really nice. It's a nice, it's not a beanbag chair like what I grew up with and you don't feel like, you know, the, there's not like little beans in here. It's what Remember I, back in the 70s when you opened it up, all those little tiny white balls flew all over the air and they got all over your house? It wouldn't be like that now. So it's very interesting. I haven't had a beanbag chair in like 30 or 40 years. Well, now, now we have one. It's very different. It's like soft, you know, softer than what I remember. But now I want to nap. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a nap, and we might be back to give final thoughts after we've tested this for a couple more days. And we are back a few days later, and we've fully enjoyed the chair. <laughs> it gets better every day, and that is the truth. Uh, Denise is going to sit in it, and uh, we'll talk more about that in a second. So actually, Jeff is the one who usually is using this now. So the last time I showed it though, it was only maybe half inflated, even though they say like 90% or 95% after one day, it was actually like half after one day. Right, it took about four days to be as, yeah. as inflated as it is now, and now it's plenty inflated. Right, I, you know, I thought, oh, it's really a much smaller chair than what it showed online, but actually you just have to kind of let it keep going for, for days. Um, at least in our case, that's what happened. Well, every time I lay on that thing while we're watching TV, I almost, or sometimes do, fall asleep. So I, I could I could absolutely sleep in that thing. That is very, well, very comfortable for me anyway. Even though I'm in the chair, it's kind of Jeff's chair, not it, my chair. It is. <laughs> the hardest thing, you know, the most difficult thing about that chair is getting out of it when you've been laying in it for a while. Well, I'm okay. I'm like, I'm not usually going to be like working in the chair because then I would have to be like that. But, uh but Jeff spends a lot of time watching TV here. <laughs> so anyway, that's our review. What is the official name of the chair? It's the Sumo, right? It's yes. a, a Sumo... The Sultan. Sultan. Sumo Sultan. Right, just so like in Aladdin. They have a bunch of different chairs, and the only reason we don't actually do a lot of unboxings, although we just, we're going to be doing another one this week of something totally different, um, but they get really good reviews, and so I figured, you know, we would try this. They have a number of different chairs, so... Um, 
This is a Sultan. And you can choose a diff whatever color, and this one's more of a brown color, which is good for like the leather. You know, if you right, matches leather our couch. furniture. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.